Um, the first question I'd like to throw at you guys is um, whenever you're playing against a random player, what runs through your mind, especially if you're actually playing random? You mean like if you're playing against random or you're playing as random? Uh, both. Okay, well, if I'm playing against random, I generally assume Zerg because... Mm -hmm. Before you scout them, Zerg can do the most against you, like early pools and mm -hmm. whatnot. I mean, I guess you get like proxy gated or proxy rack or something, but early pool just feels more, I don't know, common, I guess. So I always assume there's Zerg wall off until I can scout them, and I try and scout relatively early. Mm -hmm. Unless they scout me, in which case that kills me the race anyway. Okay. And if you're playing as random, then. Um, I don't. I don't do that, so I don't know. And Fade is saying that he basically expects cheese no matter what, whether he's doing it or the other guy's doing it. If there's a random involved, <laughs> which is which is pretty interesting, given that like that didn't actually happen all of the games. So yeah, I was expecting Fade to cheese me because you know he's um he kind I think he I think he has an all in style of play. Yeah. Generally, it generally does. I mean, he kind of did the first game. He did proxy a, a barracks actually in the middle. That's true. He he did uh, he did kind of, but I mean, he didn't really like commit to it. No, no. So it's okay versus Terran and Zerg. Hmm. It's harder to cheese a random player, I guess. Generally, you yeah. You do, you so. don't you don't know what you're dealing with. But uh, yeah. Next question is, of course, you know, game one was played on um, Merry Go Round. I Merry think. Go Round, yeah. We had both three player maps. So, what do you think of that particular? What do you think of this particular map? I mean, it's been here since last season, obviously. Got to play on it a lot. So, thoughts on Merry Go Round? Um, it's good for Reapers against Zerg, and it's good for Can Rushing against Zerg in two of the three bases. Um. I don't know. I can't give analysis as macro Terran, so I, <laughs> I can't help you. Aw, it's okay, man. Whatever your thoughts are, it's fine. Let's see what Fate has to say as well in the moment here. Um, I was going to say basically contrasting that to the new maps. Um, so we'll still wait. We'll go ahead and wait for Fate's answer. But uh, yeah, so as far as. Uh, yeah. Have you? Has it been one of those maps that you actually like going with in, um, in the latter? Do you usually veto it or usually keep it? Uh, I've been considering vetoing Merry Go Round, but I haven't actually done it. So I don't know. It's like it's, it's like barely scraping along because there are worse maps to, ve to veto. But if I had four vetoes, I think Merry Go Round would go. Mm, okay. So Fate's saying that he likes Merry Go Round, but he actually he thinks it's really good for Zerg just because he's biased against Zerg. Then he laughs and throws in a little emoticon there. But he likes merry-go-round. He finds it hard versus her. Fair enough. Okay, so contrast this against Catalina. How does Catalina feel compared to merry-go-round in particular? And it's fine, Pranef, if you want to throw in the, the kind of rushing stuff on that. Well, I like Catalina personally. Um, it's great for everything I do. Yeah. Uh, as far as macro is concerned, it seems reasonable. The third base doesn't seem too difficult to secure because you have two options for it and um, so you can expand obey or towards your opponent really whichever you want so it seems somewhat balanced like that hmm okay Fade really likes Catalina he's like typing in caps and everything it's the best map so good plenty of chokes he thinks it's good for mech so he, he just moved out it bad times which uh eh, eh, there was a little bit of it maybe too you know good to incorporate yeah. some of the, the leapfrogging strat in there with the siege tanks not go all out at once i but, discovered uh, exactly why zerg don't like hellbats i think i ran like a thousand minerals or two thousand even minerals of zerglings into like five hellbats and they all died yes uh, it's important <laughs> to remember that that blue flame upgrade actually brings them back to where they were before the patch <laughs> So yeah. you see that on those things, you got to be like, oh man, you got to yeah. you got to respect them. I think them. Um, I think after after that engagement, you had lost a total of four hundred and thirty zerglings that game. 
<laughs> yep. Yeah, that was uh, a that was a slaughter of, in the corner. A lot of zerk <laughs> nice. blood was dried yeah. out that day. Yeah, the first the first fight we took, I was like, okay, hell bats are good. I'm going to build banelings for the hell bats, and then for the third fight, I just completely forgot about the banelings. Lost all my good ones. Mm. Yeah, the don't worry, fade. I know it happens. It's no big deal. Um, no, but yeah, I was gonna say otherwise. Uh, because it was an interesting strategy that you were going for there, but. Uh, Interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for the games, guys. If you have... Um, so, okay, he's starting a couple more comments here. He's trying to run the tanks into the banelings in the second or third time he did throw uh, his army. Oh, it's okay, man. Oh, what? It's fine. Don't apologize. You're okay. Don't worry about it. Um, more to the point. Do you have anything um, you guys would A, like to plug or shout out or anybody you'd like to shout out to? And same goes for zero. All right. Well, I would like to plug my own personal stream, uh, twist.tv slash quasarprintf, where I can rush and build only Reapers. Mm. And I would like to shout out to Ninja Starcraft, who is a Grandmaster can rusher. He's awesome. You should check him out. He's got like 120 followers or 100 followers, something like that. Oh. He needs to get more because he's amazing. So go check him out. He's uh, Ninja Starcraft, I think. Twitch.tv slash Ninja Starcraft. Okay. Cool. Feel free to throw that in the chat uh, if you haven't already. Click. Yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> Feta wants to plug his own stream, twitch.tv slash deadfrogs, even though he hasn't streamed much lately. And a shout out to his internet for finally fixing itself. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I gotta say that was pretty stable there until the end with the banelings, but you know it, it survived for the whole game. So that was, was good. That was impressive. Yeah. Um, as for me, uh, I don't ha really have any shoutouts except for us. Um, you know, Twitch.tv slash Omega zero six eight, the day night show matches. We do a lot of work around here. Um, full weekends. Um, <laughs> all the way up until, uh, all the way up until the beginning of the summer. But uh, we've almost been doing this an entire year. Um, yeah, pretty much. August or September will be an entire year. We've done the show matches. Um, maybe we'll have to uh, figure out some kind of anniversary thing. Oops. Uh, yeah, we'll come up with something. No worries. Yep, no, um, you can find the VODs for all this stuff, too, at uh, tinyurl.com slash daynightss. All one word. And a shout-out to Omega for all of the planning emails that um, <laughs> I get while I'm at work. <laughs> yeah. my, my phone uh, feels like it's going to explode in my pocket I look <laughs> at it and there are 40, 40 missed messages <laughs> so kudos to the, the entire Shrug. coordination <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think um, uh, <laughs> it takes a turn lot off. of work <laughs> turn off vibrate? no I'm just kidding uh, yeah. uh. I know there's actually, like, any citizen was saying that was the reason why he would always get out of that Skype group, because it would, like, literally drain the memory out of his <laughs> yeah, phone. It did the same thing to me. Like, I'd be at work, and I'd tell it not to notify me, and it would notify me all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> it just kills my, my battery. But, uh, okay. but, yeah. Well, sorry. But, yeah, that, that does happen. So, yeah, pretty much all the same stuff that Zero is throwing out there. Also, uh, yesterday, he casted the one of the final matches with Freaks. Over at Hive Mind TV oh, yeah, for, for sure. the DKTL. I don't know what's going to be happening with that in the future. Hopefully, the tournaments will continue. But uh, those are pretty good games, actually. So go check that series out if you haven't seen it already. Yeah, props, and... um, props to the DKTL. Um, I like Blake and uh, Woodhouse to do a lot of good work over at uh, twitch.tv slash Hive Mind TV. Let's so go ahead and go give them a follow. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure when that's going to come back around. Uh, I think they have some things to work out with Faust as far as planning is concerned. So. Okay. Aw. I hope you're able to work that problem out, Fade. He's saying that the only reason he doesn't stream off is that his frame rate actually drops to 40 when he does it, so... Yeah. Yeah. I kind of I kinda understand. But, uh... In any case, thanks yeah. thanks to both of you to, for playing tonight. I know it was kind of like a little bit weird on the scheduling side of things, but uh, I have a bizarrely incompatible group of people in the free players list at the moment. So I was like, ah, what the hell? Fine. Just, just yeah. let's just do it. So, uh, yeah. Right. 
Thanks a lot. Uh, we're playing, pretty guys. much done here, and we do not have any more games to rest of tonight. I'm coming off of being sick for a month, which is why my energy levels are like bleh right now. So I am going to be catching you all tomorrow. We have Nomad versus Mercury at 4 p.m. PDT. See ya.